I grew up in Mississippi. I grew up in Indianola, Mississippi, in the Delta of Mississippi. Uh, moved up to Eden Prairie in 1998. Uh, my dad, my dad's job moved our family up here. Grizzly, come here. So I moved to Eden Prairie, did high school through there, then moved down here after college for a job, and here we are. We were trying to come up with a name with uh, what, we, what, what we or what we wanted to call it here, um, and so I, I was looking at dog or kennel names all over, and they all seem very region specific. And down here in Southwest Minnesota, there ain't nothing but Agland. It's cornfields and bean fields, and so that's kind of where the name Agland Retrievers uh, came by. We're we're in Cottonwood, Minnesota, which is Southwest Minnesota, just about 15 minutes north of Marshall. So yeah, we're in the Agland, and uh, and we do retrievers. <laughs> I've been training dogs for, this is going on my fourth year. So I got my dog Dixie and that's where all of this started, snowballed completely out of control. My uncle Stan drove up in, to North Dakota with us one year and brought his dog. And watching a, a dog that is highly trained, I mean, it, it was just like, whoa. Like I didn't, I didn't know a dog could do this. He picked Dixie out of the litter because she was the biggest one. I hunted a lot of geese, and so he wanted a big, big dog for me. And she was such an easy dog to work with. She learned fast. She, we worked well together. So I was able to take her really quickly to a very advanced level. You know, within two years, you know, we were running 250, 300-yard blind retrieves. After that, I started taking dogs in uh, and training dogs for free, buddies, family, whatever, because um, I wanted that that experience for myself and proved again that I could train a good hunting dog. And so last year, started Agland Retrievers and made some happy hunters. That's where it's all kind of snowballed out of control from. <laughs> Commercials? <laughs> Are you getting hungry? You want daddy to cook some breakfast? Oh man, my two baby girls, man. My two baby girls are my entire world. I'm so wrapped around their fingers. It's uh, it's bad. <laughs> this is the first one, except for lemonade stand when I was a kid. This is the first business, and it's, it's been it's been fun to start it from. Nothing, you know? Putting a name out there and saying, hey, let me train your dog. Dog's a kid to a lot of these people. More than just a hunting buddy or, you know, it's your son, it's your daughter. So getting people to trust you and trust you with their kid is, has, been, has been a lot of fun. Down your hair a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. I know. Okay. You're full already? Maybe two more. Come on, get up. Thank you. Try that. It's sometimes be hard to walk the line of being strict, discipline, high expectations for a dog, but also not like getting the dog down to where like, I don't know if I want to train anymore. Like this is starting to, to not be fun. So I make them fetch a whole range of different things. Later on, they'll use actually ducks and chuckers and geese and all that kind of stuff. Drop. Thank you. Fetch. <laughs> I have a high expectation for these dogs that, hey, you know, when I say something, it means it means it, you know, or I mean it. But also keeping that dog upbeat and positive and positive reinforcement. You know, understanding that maybe it's not the dog's fault that they're not understanding. If something's not making sense to the dog and they're not doing it, it's, it's probably not because the dog just doesn't want to do it. It's probably because there's something in there that I need to simplify to then get the dog to you know succeed at whatever we're trying to do. I try to just fetch, have the dogs fetch. have fun. So he's pulling against me to get the bumper in his mouth. He knows what to do. So that to me, plus he's picking up fetch, fetch. He's picking up off the table. These are all things that he's understanding what I'm expecting of him. And uh, and so we can move forward, right, Jackson? Come on, come on. 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 Come on
sent me a text. Y'all had an early morning this morning. <laughs> yep, they're all right. Are you done filming? Dixie. I think it goes back to hunting for so many years with people who had, I don't say bad dogs, you know, because they're not bad dogs, it just means the dog doesn't know any better. It's kind of a weird bashing community with waterfowl hunting, you know, everyone, this is my spot, this is my spot, oh, you're using those decoys, well that's dumb. And I just kind of got sick of that community, and so I kind of actually started like, I don't really want to do this anymore, I kind of started getting into bow hunting, and then I got a dog. Watching a dog work, and watching a well-trained dog work kind of saved me from getting out of duck hunting. It's a special thing to have a really nice dog, but I want other people to experience that too. Anyone who sends me a dog, I want them to be like, dang, you know, I got a really good dog. Boy, she's hyped up. Come here. I would consider a cat a pet. These dogs are, are more family. They're just, they're ain't no different than your buddy, or your best friend, or your dad, or brother, whatever that you're going out hunting with. That's your family. Um, I feel like that dog is just as important as any of that. I want people to know when they're gonna drop their dog off here. They're dropping it off to get trained, yes, but. They're dropping it off to be part of our family for three months. They're not gonna just spend time in the kennels and, and just get trained, you know. They're gonna go on walks with us. We're gonna take them to the lake to swim. We're gonna let them be dogs. We're gonna let them be part of our family. We're gonna get down to business. We're gonna train, but the dog's gonna be in good hands. I'm gonna take care of your, of your little boy, your little girl. I'm gonna give you back a, a bad retriever. <laughs> in a good way. That's a burger. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect.